what are you afraid of? And do you agree with that comment that you attract what you fear? You attract, no, I, you know, not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. Yeah, what's on your mind. What's yeah, on your mind, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. the law of physics. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. It's, it's just, it's, ask any physicist, they'll tell you that, that it's true. The, David Mamet wrote a line in the play Edmund, Every Fear Hides a Wish, which is, I think is, is, is close to that. I still am very insecure in so many ways, but I wish I could give that gift to all my fans. You have the freedom to pull that superstar out of yourself that you were born to be. We are all born superstars. When, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happen, you visualize more good things happen, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. Champion. Conor McGregor. Conor, you've been dreaming about this moment. You've been talking about this moment. Honestly, though, does it feel the way you thought it would? Yeah, it does. It feels beautiful. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. And that's what we are. That's what I am feeling right now. It's, it's a dream come true. I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. This was in that, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I had nothing at that time, so it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Okay. So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And... Uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself. Like... <laughs> Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> like, you just decide what it's going to be who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's, like, it's water. It wants, to, it wants to move and go around stuff, you know. So for, for me, I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. But basically, it all begins with how we choose to think. As you think, so shall you be. Seven little words that I think are perhaps the most important things that we can learn and master in our lives. This old proverb notion that I become what I think about all day long. And once you know that what you think about is what expands, you start getting real careful about what you think about. You don't allow your thoughts to be on anything that you don't want or that you wouldn't want to have manifest or show up for you in your life. Like attracts like. You have to understand, you are a magnet. Whatever you are, that's what you draw to you. If you're negative, you're gonna draw negativity. You're positive, you draw positive. You're a kind person, more people are kind to you. So you're like a magnet, you know, and you gotta understand something about like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. This is so true. What are you afraid of? And do you agree with that comment that you attract what you fear? You attract, no, I, you know, not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. What's, yeah, on, your mind. what's yeah, on your mind, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. the law of physics. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. It's, it's just, uh, ask any physicist, they'll tell you that, yeah, that it's true. Yeah. David Mamet wrote a line in the play Edmund, Every Fear Hides a Wish, which is, I think is, is, is close to that. I still am very insecure in so many ways, but I wish I could give that gift to all my fans. You have the freedom to pull that superstar out of yourself that you were born to be. We are all born superstars. When, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happen, you visualize more good things happen, that's easy. 
What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. Champion.